Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Recently, we've been discussing the four last things, after going over sacraments, prayers, and arguments for God. Before that, we did the Ten Commandments, and now, I thought it would be a good idea to examine something that's often listed alongside the commandments, the Beatitudes. The Beatitudes do share some similarities to the commandments. They appear early in the New Testament, as the commandments appear early in the Old, and they expand our knowledge of the will of God for each of us. However, there are also a fair number of differences. To start with, the Ten Commandments outline what we absolutely need to do and what we need to avoid doing in order to avoid mortal sin. The Beatitudes aren't exactly about that. Instead, they show us ways to obtain the blessings of God, some of which imply heaven. Since our relationship with God should be our first concern, the Beatitudes are very handy for helping us to improve the most important part of our lives. How are the Beatitudes related to our quest for eternal life? Aside from serving as motivational points to remind us of just a few of the good things that God offers, they also help us to more fully flesh out our understanding of how to obey the first commandment, love God with all our hearts, souls, strength, and minds. Unfortunately, however, there is a temptation to take the Beatitudes out of context or to misinterpret their meaning in a favorable way, particularly since a thorough examination of their meaning isn't usually attempted. Still, they make reference to many concepts like peace and mercy, which have since been widely misinterpreted as well, so I really think there is a lot to iron out here. If we're going to use the Beatitudes to help us in our spiritual journey, we've got to understand what they really mean. Each Beatitude contains a blessing for a certain type of person doing a certain type of thing. Therefore, in the upcoming episodes, we'll be examining that activity, that person type, and looking into why that action or type is good. We'll also look at the promises of the blessings, and question why Jesus would associate these specific promises with these types of actions. Next time, what is poverty of spirit? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.